Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the role that cash plays in organizations. Now when we think of accounting, and specifically accrual accounting, we tend to push cash aside. We focus on revenue and expense and when to recognize those revenues and expenses, which are the results of obligations fulfilled or costs incurred. They are not tied explicitly to cash in and cash out. The two concepts are separated. And that drives how the financial statements work, right? Revenues and expenses drive net income on the income statement. Income increases retained earnings, which increases the net value of the company on the balance sheet. But at the end of the day, cash still has a vital role to play in organizations. It even receives its own financial statement, the statement of cash flows, to assist with the vital role that it plays. And so here in this chart, I, I kind of lay out the vital pieces that, that cash um, um, contributes to. And it all starts up here in the blue with either investors or creditors. Now, investors buy equity in a company. So they give the company cash in exchange for ownership, in exchange for stock. Creditors simply um, let, lend the company money. So though they give the money cash, but they expect to be paid back. It's just a loan, okay? Either way, both of these parties are going to give cash to the company. Now, when we enter this green area here, these are the operations of the company. Okay, the operations of the company start off with the cash you received from your financing sources. So this blue was the financing of the company. Now we've got the cash in our operations and we use that cash to buy some supplies if we are, say, a service company or buy some inventory if we're, say, a merchandising company. We then proceed to sell our services or our merchandise with a profit markup, right? That profit markup, when we collect from our customers, will be a greater amount of cash than the cash we originally invested to buy the supplies or the inventory that was used as part of our operations. And this is what ultimately is going to increase the cash that the company has on hand. So the more cycles you make through this operation cycle, the more your cash should go up, assuming you do have a positive profit margin on the services or products that you provide. Now, once you've kind of built up a, a good store of cash, you do have some other uses for it beyond simply continuing to fund your operations. One option is you can give some of that cash back to your investors or creditors. If you're giving it back to your investors, that's what's known as a dividend. If you're giving it back to your creditors, you're simply paying off your loan. Another option you have is to use some of that cash for what's called capital investments. These are investing activities where you are essentially growing your business through purchases of PP&E or purchases of other companies, things of that nature. So remember, you start off your business by getting cash. The cash runs your whole operating cycle. At some point, you give some cash back to the parties that financed you. And at some point, you use cash to grow your business. So while accrual accounting does focus on revenues and expenses and ultimately profit, at the end of the day, cash is still the item that keeps the business running through all types of activities that the business engages in. All right, that's it for the role of cash in organizations. Hope you found this helpful and I hope you join me for another video.